Hello, today I want to talk about how to create a blog post using AI, AI being artificial intelligent content. This is becoming super popular and it can be a great way to create content uh, for your blog and make it really, really easy to generate the content. So after you watch the video, uh, please take a look around my site. I have lots of videos uh, and tutorials on here on how to make money online, different ways to make money online. And I really just talk about the ways I do it and the products that I use. And that's what we're going to be doing in this video as well. So AI, our artificial intelligent content creators, are really great because they can either assist you in writing or if you're like me, someone who doesn't like to write or is not very good at it, Actually, I think I'm a decent writer, but I don't really like it. <laughs> it takes me a lot of work and effort. They're a great way to create content. Now, there's two really types of AI writers, okay? And I'm going to show you uh, two different ones that I have. The first one that I use is called uh, Word Hero, okay? And here I am inside my Word Hero account. And this is how a lot, almost all the different AI content writers that I've seen, this is how they work, okay? Um, so you go through and they have lots and lots of different types of content that they can write, okay? And so as you go through here, you can see all these different types of content. And it can be a little overwhelming actually because you see so much. Now, um, see, I'm just scrolling down, you can see lots and lots and lots, okay? Um, now, most of what you'd use for a blog is up here. Blog conclusions, blog headlines, blog intros, blog outlines, blog paragraphs, blog topics, right? So they have at least six different uh, writers that you can use for specific parts of your blog. And then in Word Hero, again, like a lot, they have a editor where you can try to incorporate those into making one. And so I'm going to come back to Word Hero in a little bit and, and kind of give you an example of it. But first, I want to jump over to my favorite AI writer, which I use uh, pretty much exclusively, to be honest, called Article Forge. Now, Article Forge is quite a bit different, and you'll see the difference in a little bit. Um, you can write articles up to 1,500 words or more, and um, they really do have uh, SEO high-quality content. And uh, I'm just basically going to jump in and show you. And I'm going to show you, I have this new dog niche website, Doggy Resources. Every article on here has is AI created from uh, Article Forge. Okay. And so since this is a website I'm building, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, work on an article. And so... I have lots of different keywords, okay, and so what I do, I, you know, keep them on an Excel spreadsheet, and what I do is, you know, I uh, basically, you know, find the keywords I want to create articles from, and then once the article is done in Article Forge, I put when it's done, then I know I can upload it. So you can see all these different articles that I've made. So what we're going to do for this example is we're going to say, uh, take this keyword, what toys are dangerous for dogs? Let me copy that. We're going to go into... Uh, here I am logged into my Article Forge account. And over here, the great thing about Article Forge, <clears throat> well, let me just go ahead and create the article first, and then I'll explain some things about it. So really super simple. You go to New Article, and you enter in your keyword right here. You can choose what language you want. You can see the different languages. This is obviously English for me. And then you can choose the length from very short, about 50 words, all the way up to very long, 1,500 words. So I'm going to create about a, well, about 750 words, okay? And then it'll automatically add titles, add the section headings, auto-generate the section headings. I like to add an image, and I like to add a video as well. And then you've got a couple other things you can do. You can auto-connect it to your WordPress blog, and you can rewrite it if you want with Word AI. So let's go ahead and click on Create New Article. And then you can see it's just working away up here. And so while it's working away, um, when the article is done, you can go into My Articles, and it saves all the articles that you've made in the past. Uh, you can connect to your WordPress blog, so you can, like I said, update them automatically. It does have a post scheduler, so you can just, you know, uh, if again, maybe I have all these keywords, I could just highlight all these keywords. I can dump them into the post scheduler and say, I want, you know, a 
750 word article published every day to this blog based on these keywords and then that's what it would do and it would just do that for you so you can automate it that way uh, they have an API because there's some WordPress plugins that integrate with it and then you can track your usage okay uh, if you go back over here we look at the pricing um, you know you can try a five-day free trial so you know if you're interested in it try it write some articles and see what it does they uh, have since um, added this $13 a month uh, if you buy it annually. It gives you up to 25,000 words per month. And so if you're doing an average 1,000-word article, that means you could do at least 25 articles per month. And that may be all you need. I did the standard 250,000 words per month because I have several different blogs. And so um, I use this. And then you can have unlimited at $57. Okay, so that's the pricing. Let's go back, and while this is working, you can see it's you know getting pretty close to done. Let's go back into Word Hero, and let's um, go into the editor. And for, with the editor in Word Hero, and again, most <clears throat> AI content generators are very similar to how uh, Word Hero works, so this is not anything different. But let's go to blog intro. What do you want your blog to be about? Again, what toys are dangerous? For dogs and so you click write for me and it's going to start writing so you're going to start generating that content um, and so it gives you some choices and you can you know, whichever choice you want you can uh, copy that in here okay um, and oops actually sorry I copied all of them I didn't want to copy all of them I just wanted to copy that first one uh, you know, and so here you could use your title. Um, getting, oops, sorry, should I, I copied that? I should not have done that. Uh, let's go back here. The keyword. So you can see this is a little bit more work, right? Um, obviously, you don't want to go back and capitalize all this. So this is the the keyword that's going to be in our title. Oops, sorry. And then what you can do is after you have this intro, you can then go say, hey, I want now want to write, um, I don't want an intro, I have my intro. I want to write some paragraphs, okay? Um, and so again, what's it about? And we can say our keyword is dog and toy, okay? And then put your cursor where you want it to write and then click write for me and it's going to start adding some more text. Um, and so you can see if you want all that, put all that in there. Okay, and there you go. So now you have all of that. We're about 226 words long. Now, as you can see, we, let's go back to Article Forge. Our 750 word article is done already, okay? So you can see in Word Hero how much work and I had to do just to get 226 words. Now, obviously, I can keep writing. Uh, one thing that Word here will do, like say, let's um, highlight this <clears throat> and then click Write More, and you'll see it's going to start writing more. Okay, so that's how you can you know keep adding more content to most of these AI writers, and you know it's going to increase the word count. Now we're at 267, but you can see it's going to take a, quite a bit more work with a typical AI writer to try to get to 750 words where you can see in Article Forge it's done. So let's click on it. Let's see the result and it's going to show you okay it added the image you know it added the section headings and then content for that section heading and then it added a video at the bottom. Now a video is is important I think for SEO purposes because these are YouTube videos Google yeah, you know, as most people know, owns YouTube. And so when you embed a YouTube video on your site, that actually helps with your ranking. And just as with your blog, you'd create a site map. So the search, so Google knows how to, what your, what your site is about. Uh, you can also create a video site map with all the videos on your site. And so this is really, really nice that it does that. Now, it does make the article, um, in spin tax also. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and hit save. <clears throat> And then once it's done, you know, you could spin it if you want, if you want to maybe look, you know, make this different. And then you can export it as a text file, HTML, a PDF, or again, if you have your WordPress site 
linked, you can click, uh, you can have it automatically added to your WordPress site. Now, I just tend to do it manually. I just go to HTML, I hit copy, and then I go and I add that to my site. That's just how I do it right now. So then the big question is, oh, let me just say one last thing. Sometimes what I do is when I see the intro paragraph and the conclusion paragraph, I'm, sometimes I'm not completely happy with them. And really, to be honest, what I do is I go to Word Hero, okay? And I use Word Hero uh, for writing my blog intros and my blog conclusions. And so I'll get the bulk of my content from Article Forge, so this is a you know roughly 750 word article, and then I get um, I may add a separate blog intro and blog conclusion from Word Hero. So that's a way you can kind of combine these different types of AI content writers. But like I said, this uh, website, Doggy Resources, and I have another dog site as well. They're both completely full of AI content. Um, and so it makes it super easy to generate the content. You, you saw how fast it generated this content for me. But so the question now is, does it actually help with ranking, getting ranking in the search engines? And so let's um, go over. Well, first, let's uh, go to this is my Bing search um, console, you know, my doggy resources website. Here it is, doggy resources. And you can see I've had three impressions, not a lot, but the average position, 2.7. And you can see, um, you know, soft dental chews for senior dogs, uh, two impressions with average position being in the second position. OK, and so you'll you can actually see that if we take that keyword, soft dental chews for dogs. Let's go into uh, I'm in a um, incognito window. So let me just show you that because that way we'll get accurate search results. So I'm in an incognito Google Chrome window and I put in soft dental chews for senior dogs. Let's go ahead and search that again and look where the results come up. This is an ad, an ad, an ad. So the first three results are an ad and then you have this site. That's the first real site. And then you have my two sites, doggy resources, the one we're looking at. And this is my other dog site. And so for this keyword, uh, which I think has a search volume of about 200 or 250 searches per month. So not a lot, but you can see how easy you can rank for that. And these were articles for these two sites of mine that I made a 100% with uh, Article Forge. Okay. Now, if we go to Google, um, let's go to Google. Same thing. Um, soft dental chews for senior dogs. Okay. Let's search. Now, Obviously, Google is a lot harder to rank on. The nice thing, let me go back actually real quick and talk about Bing. Bing certainly does not have nearly the traffic that Google uh, search does, but the people who tend to use Bing are the people who usually more mature, typically a little better off financially. And so it's really kind of your, your uh, ideal buyer traffic. And I've actually made um, a few, uh, three or four Amazon sales for dog dental chews. So I know they're coming from one of my sites that I have on the first page of Bing. Okay. They're not coming from Google because if we look again at the results here on Google uh, for soft dog dental chews, here we are on the first page. Um, Amazon, obviously it's hard to compete with them. Um, so we keep going down, not on the first page. Let's go to the second page. Uh, do, 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 not here, not here. You know, these are some bigger sites, obviously, that I'm trying to compete with. Uh, let's go to the third page. And here I am. Uh, my one, one of my sites is right on the top of the third page. So basically, this would be in the 21st uh, result section for this keyword. So, you know, so to answer the question, does AI content help get you traffic? And does it help rank? Yes. The answer I think you can see is yes. Let's go look at one other thing. Let me go back to my other um, browser. And, <clears throat> you know, we looked in um, the search res search performance results in, in Bing. And you can see, again, nothing super awesome. But let's go into the Google Search Console for this is, again, my doggy resources site. And you can see, let me scroll up over the past, this is over the past three months. Because I started the site, um, 
really about two months ago, you know, just over two months ago. And you can see it actually was getting pretty good impressions. Okay. And then Google did a big update, and so that kind of crashed the impressions. So it was only getting about 50 impressions per day. But now you can see that things have, the dust has kind of settled now. It's really jacked up to, you know, we're getting 200, 300, 400 impressions per day. Now, the average position for my articles is not so great down at uh, the 81st position. But look at that. I'm starting to get some clicks. People are finding it. Okay. And so with a blog, you know, the key to remember, you know, that you have to take a long term view. Uh, this is something that's going to be long term. It's going to get rank more ranking, more impressions, more clicks. Uh, right now, they're just monetized with um, the site is just monetized with Amazon. Okay. So when, you know, people go in here and they click on an article, they're going to be linked to Amazon. Okay, and I, like I said, I've made a few sales, not a ton, but I have made a few sales from Amazon, so I know people are finding my content and it's working. And as the search volume increases, the impressions, the clicks, etc., increase, then I will be able to get approved for ads on the site, like from either Google Ads or I'll probably go with Ezoic um, or something like that. And as that um, traffic increases, that uh, I'll get paid ads as well. So. Let's answer a few questions. So does AI content help your site um, rank? Yes, it does. We saw that when we went into incognito and we see, you know, I have one article on the top of the third page in Google for this keyword. And if we go into Bing, I have two sites actually on the first page in the second and third position um, for that keyword. So yes, AI content ranks. That, and these are articles strictly from Article Forge, okay? Um, I didn't do anything. These are just written by Article Forge. And I upload it. I do a... And so just to give you an idea of the process, once the article is done, right, and I just hit HTML and I copy it, I just add it to my website. I go through and just, you know, maybe clean it up a little bit as far as appearance, maybe add a few other pictures, you know, try to do some SEO. But it really takes no more than maybe 10 or 15 minutes tops, you know, when I add the article. And so my goal has been to try to add uh, at least one, if not two articles per day. I think I'm up to almost 80 articles over the past three months, so not qu I'm not quite hitting one a day. Um, but it's starting to pay off. It's starting to see the results. And so that's the second thing to keep in mind is, you know, blogging is not dead. Uh, blogging works. Uh, you just got to take a long-term view of it, and you it will work for you. So I hope you found this helpful, um, just to see a little bit of comparison between, you know, some of the most common word AI content and what I like, Article Forge, because I think it is much easier and produces really good content. Now, AI writers like Word Hero will produce really good content as well, but it might take you... On the short side, 30 minutes up to 60 minutes, you know, to write a, you know, thousand word article. Um, so you can do it and that probably still be much, much, much faster than trying to write it yourself. Um, or I like to go in here because Article Forge will spit out a 1500 word article in about five minutes. And it makes it super easy to add the content to my blog keep up to date and uh, start ranking. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I'll leave a link for Article Forge in the description box below. It is an affiliate link in full disclosure, but thank you if you're considering using it. And if you like the video, please leave me a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe so you can get more content as I put it out. I appreciate you watching. Have a great day.